Hims, you remember, was dealing with that nerve in his riding arm last week. There's your answer as Short Pop covers some distance. Are you going to give him Batman status off of that yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man, because here's the deal. Short Pop took off toward the end of that ride, but for the first four seconds, this was going to be one of those 90-pointers happening. And Kimsey, as we watch this back on the Pendleton replay, this is the kind of guy Kimsey is like. Put a little pressure on, turn up the music, oh. run the rank bulls in. That's when this guy's at his very best. I love that you just added that last point because, again, most of our fans who watch the PBR don't know exactly to the extent that Sage Kimsey thrives on that sort of stage. I yeah, mean, he's a gamer, man. He's a big-time guy. Leading the team once again. So, Jose, you just watch your ride back. It seems into your hand, away from your hand. You're unstoppable right now. So what's working so well with every ride? i just very grateful about God put good bulls on my way, and I'm very, help, I'm very happy about these guys help me on, on the behind the shoes and for riding my bulls. I'm very grateful about all this. It is a team effort, and Sage, you also got the job done tonight. You said before the game, this team likes having the target on their back. How does that make you guys rise up as a team? Yeah, I mean, I think... You know, everybody wants that position. So I think it's a position, you know, that, that we need to carry with pride. And I think all of the guys are sold out in that. I mean, we know that, you know, everybody looks at our team as the team to be. And, um, you know, as long as we can just keep raising the bar for ourselves, I think they'll all end up good. Now the only undefeated team left standing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Craig. Off of Kate's very true words, let's give you the standings of Division A. She said it. Cooper Tires, the only undefeated team. Las Vegas drops to three and one. Can Am still occupies that third and very important position since only three teams will qualify for the playoffs. Simple fact, he makes eight, they win. Anthrax, nowhere near enough. No close shave needed. Jose Vitor Leme gives Team Cooper Tires the win. They move to a perfect 4-0. Oh, Jose. The only guy maybe happier than Jose and his other three teammates might be general manager yes. Cody Lambert. <laughs> I've never seen this guy so giddy in the years that I've known him, but Lemmy, man, it... it it just doesn't matter. Like, these Bulls tonight, they didn't read the script knowing that you're not supposed to go to the left. They did. Jose just chews them up. Going to be marked way up over top of his bull. There's wow. There's Cody Lambert right there. <laughs> Hands up, man. Hands up. Lambert, right? I did it all. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, on the ground to the right either, but... Oh. Book another one. Lemming moves to six and seven overall in this team format, giving Team Cooper tires as we head to halftime a two bull advantage. 88 points. Yeah, Bluestone didn't get the memo. I guess we were talking <laughs> loud enough up here. Don't go left with this guy. You've got no chance. This is just what Jose does, though. I mean, this this guy is really tuned in to the competition. He loves what he's doing, and he's the best at it, and he shows you that every is your, time. That is your high score of the evening. It's the third 88-plus or better score Jose Vitor Lemmy has had so far in this Monster Energy Team Challenge, and the hits just keep coming for the most dominant team we have seen so far in Division A.